this is unscripted, so it'll have to be as it is, whether it goes well or whether it doesn't. Facebook has uh, tonight given me two more marks on my account. In the space of about two or three hours, I've received two more marks. So don't be surprised if I disappear at some point from Facebook, if I am, as it were, deplatformed. The same with YouTube. Now we know, don't we? Because it's been revealed to us on what used to be Twitter, X. That, that all this censorship comes from government. It's the extended arm of government. Then uh, verlengede armen, some, as they say in Norwegian, of the authorities. And uh, what are they so afraid of? Well, you know what has been my burning issue for at least two years now. This thing here, which we're not allowed to talk about. Apparently, I'm a liar. No, they didn't say I'm a liar. They said that I am putting out fake information, misinformation. It's the same thing. It's very serious. The world that you thought that you existed in has ended. It ended in 2020. Now, we will be going down the rabbit hole if I start saying that that was all planned, but I think you know that that is what I believe, but we don't need to worry about that. That is conjecture. What isn't conjecture is the thing here. Somebody even today said to me, oh, well, you are just afraid of certain things put into your body. No, I'm not afraid. In 2018, just before I went to Germany, I went down to the doctor's office and I got my blood checked to make sure that I had the immunity to measles because there was a an ongoing measles epidemic in that part of Germany that I was visiting. And had it been necessary, I would have had another vaccine against measles, but actually it wasn't necessary. Now, when Facebook, YouTube, or anybody else, in censoring me, calling what I'm putting out for misinformation, is reacting against Dr. Campbell. Look him up. I take it personally. Because Dr. Campbell is such an esteemed medical person. From the time when I was at school, and indeed when I was a college student after school, Vidar going to Panoshk. There's something about his generation. I mean, I'm frighten frighteningly near 60 years myself. And Dr. Campbell, uh, I, I, I don't be rude and <laughs> ask him how old he is. But the point is, there's something about his generation. It's beneath him to be what Facebook are implying. It's quite beneath him. And what he has tried to do is to make medicine understandable to ordinary people. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not going to put up with it. The more you try to shut me down, even if you de-platform me, I'm not going to go away. I do promise you this, I'm going to make more of a stink. And that goes for employers as well. I hope it doesn't come to that. But anybody who wants to shut me down, my God, they're in for a surprise. I'm making this promise today and I hope you will make this promise too. Fake information. Misinformation. What was it he was putting out? Well, 
You think I'm wrong about the, the vaccine. I've said it now. You think I'm wrong. You think I'm afraid. Well, if, if that's the case, why are you afraid to allow what people like me are saying to be published? Hmm? If there really is a medical consensus on anything, why do you need to shut other doctors up? Why do you need to do that? Why indeed does government need to do that? What is it people are afraid of? Well, let me just end this by saying this. My YouTube channel, and you know it's serious when I get in the the garb of my YouTube channel, you know, with the green, white and black and all that. Uh, this is on Facebook as well, but what is it? Uh, why do I do that? I mean, it's, it's a gimmick, isn't it? It's, uh, it's the colours from uh, the secondary school I went to in Doncaster in, in the late part of the 70s and early 80s. That's just a gimmick. But there's something in it, something more, I would hope, that's a little bit more than nostalgia. My logo as well. In fact, more so. You may think I'm wrong, and I might be wrong. I accept that. I might even be off my rocker. But whether you believe me or not, and you can take it how you will, I'm doing what I'm doing here and making and holding on to that logo, not for me at all, but I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for this generation, which has become sadly the age of the lie, the society of the lie. White has been turned into black, and black has been turned into white. I am staying true to values that I was taught as a child. And one of the most important, if not the most important, is truth. I'm not afraid of the truth, and I'm going to stand up for the truth. So let me tell you, Facebook... You can carry on giving me black marks. You can kick me off if you like. And God help you if you do and if that results in anything in my work life because at some point I will come back at you. I'll come back at, on anybody who sanctions me for doing this eventually. It, it, might not, it might not be something I do now. It might be next year. It might be ten years. But my God, I promise, I will never leave it once I start. We need to stand up and be counted. I'm not ashamed of anything that I have written. And I stand for everything I have posted. And I do not engage in misinformation. That's all I need to say.